This is Ron Scotty O'Brown reporting here from Bringtine Breach, uh, New Jersey uh, coastline or whatever. We're here today doing a little uh, file test of the uh, Scotty O2 drone. We're, I'm having to file my waist uh, black Toyota Highlander. Uh, I was using a controller. Um, I got the GoPro uh, Hero 7 mounted on the front windshield. So we're going to get video from you know, from what the driver sees, we're going to get some bird's eye video uh, the Scotty will follow along. So let's see how this test goes and we'll be back at the uh, end with some video and some conclusions on how good this thing tracks the car on a dusty beach road in, in uh, you know, at the Jersey Shore. So, um, you know, uh, don't go anywhere. We start the testing today uh, using only the Scotio 2 drone and the controller uh, and also the iPhone 11 Pro. And we also have the, as you can see here in this video, we have the GoPro Hero 7 mounted to the front windshield of the Toyota Highlander with the, um, the suction cup mount from PGY Tech that just recently came out, um, which is a good product. You can see that that I have a video on our channel on the uh, on the suction cup uh, holder, which again is a very good product. So um, my wife has uh, started driving, so we're cutting back and forth between uh, the vision, a view from the uh, GoPro Hero Seven, and then we uh, will cut to the next shot. Uh, from from the Scotty, which is set for tracking from uh, behind. I basically let it do its own thing here. I'm not really doing any type of controlling. I told my wife to drive about a mile away and then come back. So let's see how how it does. Okay, here she's about a mile away from the home point where we took off, and here's where the trouble begins. Um, the drone uh, starts to lose her. Um, what happened at, at my end is it became disconnected from the controller. So um, it looks like it's going into a uh, return to home mode now, heading back to where it uh, came from, which, um, I mean, that's a good thing. That's what you would expect to do. But in the meantime, I'm walking closer to um, the drone and, and the main road here. And I'm trying to reconnect, you know, the uh, the app and, and, and everything again by unplugging the phone and uh, eventually turning the uh, controller off and back on again. At this point, it starts to go back looking for the car again. So I think at this point is is after I've I've tried to reconnect again, and it, and it stopped returning to home, and now it's searching for a car again. Uh, again, it's all speculation on my part. Um, but then there she comes back again, but it doesn't see her. And my mistake was probably, you know, using the controller. I should have used the beacon and just the uh, the phone and put the beacon in the car with her. And uh, I may have not had this issue. So um, 
now I must be totally confused what to do now. So it looks like it's about to land, but uh, it stops short of landing and just hovers by the side of the road there. It's nice that it doesn't hover over the middle of the road by the side of the road. So, uh, you know, this is when my uh, wife has, you know, gone past the mile mark and she's turning to uh, come back to the uh, home point again and um, coming down this dusty beach road here. Uh, that's a quote from uh, Thunder Road by Bruce Springsteen. And there's, we're, we're on the island of Brigantine, but uh, you can see the casinos and buildings of Atlantic City in the background because I'm on the south end of Brigantine, and uh, that's just across a small stretch of water. And there's where the Skydo is, just kind of hovering in place, um, I guess waiting for its next command. I'm I'm walking, you know, continuously walking, you know, towards where the drone is. I don't know where it's at, where it's at but I'm walking along the path that the... Uh, the car took, you know, hoping to uh, reconnect at uh, some point to the uh, Scadio so I can give it a command to, to come back. So uh, here's my wave come back. She's kind of looking for the drone. She realizes at this point it's not following her anymore. So she's kind of hunting for it. And uh, again, you got those views of uh, the casinos. I think that's the ocean that you see to the uh, left there in this shot. So luckily, you know, it's a winter day, it's President's Day weekend, but nobody's around in the summer. And then the drone's still hovering there, but uh, my wife has located it now. She sees it hovering by the roadside. At this point, I'm kind of down at the end of the road there, where we turned off in the beach road. And uh, I'm starting to reconnect again to it, you know, getting control of it. And um, she doesn't know that I've reconnected to it um, at this point. But uh, I, I'm manually spinning around there, and now I'm hitting the icon on the screen again to because uh, it knows it's a car there. So I've touched the car icon, and now it's got the car again. So um, all she's got to do is come back towards me, and it'll follow her back. And she doesn't know that at this point. I'm down the road kind of waving my arms like to come towards me, and here it is. It's following again, getting that kind of beautiful shot of the car and, the uh, again, the casinos and buildings of Atlantic City in the background there so got a got a nice kind of angle off to the side now it's kind of going directly uh behind and above the car again and i could change the angle all i wanted but i know uh, from billy kyle's videos if you put it in front of the car sometimes i have a hard time uh keeping up but i really wasn't so much interested in the all the crazy angles here i just wanted to see how well it did following this you know wasn't uh and to be the most cinematic video in the world. It was more of a, a precision tracking test for the Scotty O2. So you see me by the road. Up, You saw me by the road there on the left-hand side for a second. My wife sees me. She's slowing down. And there's the drone. You know, she stopped the car. So the drone's kind of like hovering and circling around for a minute. I guess wondering why she's not moving. You know, it's going to the front now. And I'm kind of walking up to it now. I'm probably... <coughs> You know, you, I'm off camera now, but I'm not too far from the from the car at this point. Now it's kind of circled all the way around her on her, on, her, on its own. I'm kind of telling her to go again. You can see the shadow of the sky there. So she's going to drive down, you know, closer to the south end of the island there, which we're not far at all from the end. I the sky did doing a good job of following from the front. That's pretty neat. It, it wasn't particularly windy this day, so it wasn't getting much uh, wind resistance. So, okay, now it decides to go circle to the back again, which is kind of cool the way it kind of spins around fast. I mean, people talk about uh, uh, cinematic video. I could have cut that transition out and, uh, you, you know, wouldn't have saw that um, non-cinematic transition there, but I, I think it's kind of neat to uh, to do that. And you can still see the GoPro uh, Hero 7 mount on the suction cup mount there by PGY Tech on the front windshield. I mean, it stayed on perfectly, didn't move. And, you know, as you can see from the ground video from earlier, the car video is really smooth with the, uh, you know, the uh, hyper smooth technology it has built in. So now, you know, she's returning back and the Sky Dio is following along to, to where I'm at standing by the road there. So, um, well, that's about it for the flight. Uh, she parks and, uh, you know, I land the Sky Dio, you know, by the road on some, uh, you know, some grass. I had a landing pad, but uh, kind of, it didn't seem windy, but the force of the drone was blowing the landing pad up. So uh, I kind of half landed the landing pad and half landed in the grass. I, I, I cut all that part out because it was kind of boring or whatever, really. So um, 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you on our next Scottio adventure.